my scrappy friends, I wanted to share uh, the new uh, click kit for May 2017. It is a sorbet kit. I am on the design team this year and I'm on the YouTube design team. So I am hoping to share all of the my unboxings with you so you can get a peek at what is in the kit. I am super excited for this kit. It's going to be super fun and just very spring-like and so let's go ahead and let's see so this month we also have the Jen Hadfield um, pieces these should be in the store so be on the lookout these are really fun alpha they're different um, there's like this rose gold there's regular gold that is like super gold that's like whoa super gold and then there is this like gray granite like green gray color chromey maybe a little darker than a chrome so these are really fun they're all different sizes and shapes so yeah and there are a few numbers mixed in so that is really nice and fun that will be fun for some titles there is only one of each letter so that will be a little interesting. You kind of have to plan out what you want to do. And if your name has a lot of different, like you could use it for your name, like your last name or something. So one thing I want to share real quick that is in the, a part of the kit, but not in the kit. As part of a Click Kits member, or if you want to go in and purchase it, you can get the cut files for the kit and printables. So there's printables and cut files for each kit that we get. And so this month we also have a traveler's notebook kit that is coming out. So I also have the printables for the traveler's notebooks that is going to go along with the main kit. <coughs> so yay for that. They're super fun. And the regular printables were created and designed by Miriam. She has been on the Click Kits team for a while and she's super talented and she's just like a youngin. So I don't know how she old she is, but she's not very old. But she has amazing eye and talent and I can't wait to see where she goes with that as she gets older. And so she has designed some cards. There's some three by four cards. There's some like bannery cloud things, some four by four or three by three sizes. I guess I should know the size. Okay, it's, eh, it's I like two by two maybe. Maybe a little bit less than that because of my printer. So, and then there's some labels and some little circly elements that you can cut out. So these are nice and fun. These are bigger than an inch. So these ones here for the, uh, that were designed for the Traveler's Notebook is was designed by Lacey and these are about an inch. So these are like um, a flare button size. Let's see. So like here's a flare button. So it's about a flare button size. So you can use like a one inch punch. Usually that's what I use to put them out. If you had those little enamel -y things to put over top, you could totally have like a new flare button. But they're nice and fun. And then these ones also have some two by two or three by fours and some like two by two sizes and then these have some label things and some strips and some arrows so nice and fun really really cute I really like them so without further ado let's get to our kits the alphas for the kit so every kit comes with an alpha and this month we are using thicker's crush and these are just American craft they're nice and gold and there, there's a lot of hearts mixed in, and the font is just super fun. There's a lot of ampersand. There's an ampersand and an at, and they're just, like, really, really fun. A hashtag. Nice and fun. Also, along with um, Click Kits this month, we also have an exclusive sequin mix, which is, like, super fun. Oh, my gosh. These are amazing. They're really nice and fun. So, fun, fun. Like some yellow and clear flowers and some blues and oranges. They're going to go perfect. We also have some Chasing Dreams um, 
butterflies, the fringe ones, these are super cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I want to make a tag like that. That is super cute. But that would be like scrap lifting, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so along with the, the papers, let's do the, I guess, let's do the papers first here. Let's do the papers. I'm not really going in order today, am I? So every kit has some exclusive or like, not exclusive, but like specialty papers. And we have two this time. We have one that is, and both of these are from Kaiser Craft from the Wildflower Collection. And this is like a watercolory type of paper. It's really thick. And it has embossed flowers on it. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. Uh, so this will be nice and fun to like spray on and use. I'm not sure exactly. Or watercolor in here. That would be awesome. And then we have these three by fours that you just like, you know, like they're super cute. You could totally just use this like this and have the edge, you know, the edges would be like really cute. And this one, so it says all different things. This one says, make memories with people you love. So you could like spray this, you could watercolor it. I wouldn't recommend putting acrylic paint or anything on it because it will get stuck on the embossed part. But so it says a whole bunch of different sentiments like love this and hello. Thank you for being a friend. That would be fun on a card. Just be happy. What is done in love is done well. Vincent van Gogh. So the kit this month is using mostly Pink Fresh Studio papers. So nice and fun. Uh, I love pink. So it's the collection is Dream On from Pink Fresh Studios. It's super fun and colorful and nice and springy. So everybody's gonna love this. It's nice and fun. So the first paper is trance. And so one side is just dots, rainbow. Well, not really true rainbow, but rainbow. Multicolored. <laughs> and then some just black and white with a whole bunch of different symbols for home stuff. Very Pink Fresh Studios. We have Pink Fresh Studio bow ties with color changes on each of the little circles in the bow tie. They're really cute. This is fancy. And then this other side has all these different squares that are, or rectangles that are not the same size or shape and have different shapes and colors in it. That is super fun. That'll be really fun. We also have this one, which is, I think, one of my favorites. This reminds me of a Dear Lizzie paper from a few years ago. Circles that are, like, traced, like, almost watercolory. That is just really cool. And then this one is, like, almost like a banners in multicolored. It's called Wish. This is just nice and fun, and it has a nice... Uh, stripe to it also so it kind of grounds all of them. It's really fun. We also have this paper which is also one of my favorites. It's lots of different squares like chunked together. They almost look like flowers. And then this side has houses and trees and stuff. Super cute. It's called Marvel. And then we have this I almost said floral, but it's not. It's a bird. It's nature-y with circles that are all different sizes and then some hearts mixed in. This is just really fun. Really, really fun. It's called Delight. And then this other side is this tribally fun stripe thing going. It's just really fun. I love it. This is very... Pink Fresh Studios to me. So it's nice and fun. It's a fun color. And then we have this one that looks like stars and constellations. It's super cute. This is like what I see the star. When I see the stars, I see random constellations that are not real constellations. 
I can make the Big Dipper out of any stars. Uh, and this side has a whole bunch of different cut apart. So there's like three by threes. These are like two by three or, or something. Some bigger ones. This is called Reverie. So this is really nice and fun. So there are no extra, um, extra cut aparts and stuff. So that's what there is. There's those three by fours in the kit. Nice and fun. Both of these are from Kaiser Craft. And then, so this month we don't have any extra, <coughs> excuse me. We don't have any extra um, exclusive cards because we have two crystals this month. So, but we also have, let's flip this over so you guys can see these. We also have a half a pack of the die cuts, which are super, super cute. Like always, they have different color, different colors, different fonts. These are very Pink Fresh Studio and just nice and fun. You can do amazing things. Some flowers, some, ooh, I know what I'm going to use this on a layout for, or whatever. We were in the car, and my kids were making up a game, and my daughter said, that's rainbow colored, but it's not the rainbow. <laughs> so we have a half a pack of those, which is really nice, because then you don't have to worry about using the whole pack up. But if you really like it, you can go out and buy a whole pack of it, right? Sometimes that's always fun. You get a taste. That's what I like about kit clubs, just in general, is you get a nice taste of lots of different things and maybe things you wouldn't think of buying, like these amazing washi tape strips from Pretty Little Studios. These are designed by Zania. She has a new collection called Blooming Hearts. Zinnia. Zania. Zinnia. We'll say that. I'm probably butchering her name, and I'm really sorry. And she's really amazing, and she has wonderful colors. So this is very indicative of, like, her style anyway. Nice and fun. They're washi strips, so you can... They're... They remind me a little bit more, like, regular tape, though. Like, tape that you use to wrap gifts, but colored. So it is a little bit stronger than regular washi tape, which is kind of nice. Also with the kit, we have a pack of puppy stickers from Pink Fresh Studios. I'm glad we have a whole pack because this will be gone in no time. I love the florally pieces. And also in our kit, we have some exclusive flares, which are amazing. These are by Miriam. So once again, we have that pattern again. And then this one that says better than I imagined. Super, super fun. We have these freckled fawn bubble clips, which are really cute. We have a uh, part of a pack of the Oasis um, buttons. And these are definitely plastic. They are very retro to me. So it'll be interesting to see how we've use these in with these. It's kind of a different feel, but I think it would be fun. And then we have um, the favorite by Pretty Little Studios. So this is what the kit is. It is super, super cute, guys. Oh my gosh. So be sure to make sure that you are signed up for click kits if you want to get this kit. Check out the store. See what add-ons there are. We're going to be doing add-ons different this year, this month. So you guys will have first picks of the add-ons. And then the rest of us will go in and get our add-ons. So make sure that you get you check out the add-ons and see what there are. And pick out stuff that you know you're going to love. That is going to match the kit. Because that is... One of the amazing things that they do is they really just complement the kit and make the kit go so much further so you can get just more layouts done. So I know this past month for April, I was able to get about six or seven layouts done. That is like to me amazing. And I only bought like a pack of 
puffy stickers and a pack of epoxy stickers. So it wasn't like I added way more and I didn't add anything for my stash. So except for mixed media stuff. So just know that you can make your kits go quite far. I know a lot of people want to know how many layouts do you get. I think each kit is different. But um, these are super fun and I can't wait because I am so ready for spring. So using all these fun colors is just going to make me feel like spring is here already. So I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to check out the links in the description box below. Thumbs up this comment. Tell me what kind of stuff you like to use in the spring or what stuff you guys are look most excited for in the kits. And I will see you guys later.